Miss Colliding caught what Teresa she surely did not have to guess. All those voice bills to the zipper, somehow Jacobs lost them all. But one of them turned out to be a replacement for the Yander call. In this case, we surely see a wicked voicemail gate. These kind of things can only happen in the state of disingenuous country. They said it was too dark to see any blood in the car at Avery's yard. But they were able to read the text on that teeny weeny SD card. They said because it's locked we cannot explore inside of that ref 4 When it arrived at the lab they suddenly sesame opened the driver door. How it got there, wrong way round, that does need no debate. These kind of possible things only happen in the state of this ingenuous council. They said that Bushman was just helping as volunteer. But anyway, why was he in charge of all of those cups on that important day? Cuss Road was a gift to draw all attention away from ASY. Bushman wrote no report, so we can just guess the actions of this guy. Next day, all important stuff was found, November 8th. This kind of staging can only happen in the state of disingenuous council. They say those bones were found in Stevens' pit and we saw those photos made. But for some weird reason all of them did somehow evaporate. Now Deborah Kakach would certainly have put on there a decent grit. But she was withheld by the sheriff from scrutinizing Stevens' pit. Willis could not see the relevance, well you're blind and mate. This kind of trap can only happen in the state of this ingenuous council. They say that Stephen's DNA was obtained from that Toyota key. Sure looks like a magic thing, because why would it be TH3? The key was found after heavily shaking that wooden thing near Stephen's bed. But somehow all those coins remained where they were, as if glued to the cabinet. I think they didn't get the order of these photos straight. This kind of swapping is only allowed in the state of disingenuous council. They say that Brendan was no suspect, they needed just some witness quotes. Investigators did an interview, but why then those Miranda notes? They say their storyline was made out of facts provided by this team. But on each question he gave four answers, at least for them to choose between. Guessing until it matched what Bert and Ernie did create. This kind of BS can only happen in the state of disingenuous country. They say reports on items sent to the FBI were all sent through. But somehow they forgot the possibly exculpatory thing Q2. They said the garage was clean, so that's why they did not find Teresa's blood. But that concrete was tested and it had Stephen's blood. Okay, now what? Miracle bleach that kills only female blood. That must be great. These kind of miracles only happen in the state of disingenuous country. They said they had the bones available for the rapid DNA. Well, it turned out the bag was empty, they threw the bones in bad faith away. Violation of due process and probably also destitute. Evidence handling evidently is in this county clearly screwed. 
Big old ledger full of holes with things that don't relate. This kind of sloppiness only happens in the state of disingenuous counsel. Disingenuosity continuing up to date. Stephen Brennan both got screwed by the state of disingenuous counsel. Disingenuous counsel. Disingenuous counsel.